Rain or shine, day or night, Wham Bam Dash Cam's here, so hold on tight. Close Calls Justice and Rex Bazaar, and in the end, the cart demon's the star? Theodore was driving when the driver of a box truck ran a stop sign and T-boned his Ford Transit van. Theodore told us the truck driver began accusing him of speeding at over 70 miles per hour. When first responders arrived, Theodore showed them his dash cam footage and they discovered that the truck driver was lying. Theodore told us, at this point, the dash cam saved me. Advice for everyone, get a dash cam. Insurance paid 13,000 US dollars for the van, plus another 700 for damaged cargo. He also pointed out this is his second submission to our channel. His first was featured way back in episode number seven. Matt was driving down a snowy Ohio road at about 50 miles per hour when the driver of a Toyota minivan pulled out in front of his Honda Accord. With his foot on the brake, Matt's Accord only decelerated by about 5 miles per hour before he rear-ended the minivan. Say what you want about his speed, but I doubt any of us would be willing to drive home at only 5 miles per hour. When Matt got out to speak with the other driver, he asked Matt, How f***ing fast were you going? Matt politely told him he had the whole thing on dash cam and went back to wait for the tow truck to arrive. His Honda Accord was totaled by the impact, and the other driver's insurance provider paid him enough to replace it with a newer one. Shadell's husband was driving them home when some people sitting in the back of a pickup truck and filming threw something at their Toyota Sienna. Oh, what? Put your eggs at us. Take a picture of their life. They took off after the pickup in order to get its license plate number. While they were following it, one of the people in the pickup bed tossed a water balloon at them. Really? When they called 911 and reported the incident, police told them they were the second caller, but the first to have a license plate number and dash cam evidence. They caught and charged the individuals with vandalism. Shadell told us they got their dash cam for Christmas, but this was the first time they caught people being stupid. She said their whole family enjoys watching all the Wham Bam channels. Lena was driving to work one afternoon when the driver of a gray SUV pulled out in front of her Fiat. Even though she slammed on her brakes, it was too late. Police responded, as did paramedics. The ambulance actually arrived in just a couple of minutes since the ambulance depot is on the same road where this collision occurred. Lena was cleared by the paramedics and is now waiting to find out if her car is totaled. She'd only had this car for two months, so she's hoping it can be repaired. Ironically, she told us this happened only 15 minutes after she'd finished watching the latest Wham Bam Dash Cam and Wham Bam Tesla Cam episodes. Psst, Lena, don't forget about Wham Bam Security Cam. Nicholas was singing along to his music when a reckless driver split lanes to pass him before weaving back and forth between other traffic. What the f Nicholas told us the car hit his tire and made contact with one other car, but he didn't pursue them because his girlfriend was in the car. Sadly, his dash cam didn't capture the car's license plate number. He asked people to please stop cutting through traffic, especially if you're bad at it. Maharshi and three of his cousins were headed to his sister's house for dinner when they suddenly watched another driver lose control and come spinning down the road directly toward them. Maharshi's cousin Smith dodged the spinning car, whose driver was evidently running from the cops after shutting down a nearby intersection by doing donuts. Incredibly, nobody was hit by the out-of-control sedan. Maharshi said that investing in a dash cam is worth it. You never know when you'll need it, and you'll never regret having one. This emitter was headed to her aunt and uncle's house when another driver came flying up from behind and rear-ended a car next to hers. Oh, 
Thankfully, our submitter's Honda CRV wasn't hit by any of the debris that went flying when the impact occurred. She said she didn't want to be involved in a collision, but this was definitely a close call. She told us she loves our channels and watches them every week, and her first thought was to send this video to Wham Bam. She also wanted to shout out her boyfriend, the King of Scotland, who was with her at the time. Ryan was headed to his college campus when two pedestrians walked into the road ahead of him. One of them yelled at Ryan while clearly agitated about something. As soon as he could, Ryan drove past the guy, and as he did, the guy tried to open his door. He then chased Ryan's vehicle down the street as he drove away. If you needed a reason to keep your doors locked while driving, now you have one. You're welcome. Watch what happened as Benito was coming off a highway off-ramp. A speeding driver went hurtling past him before running a red light. He then hit a light pole, knocking it over. When Benito and others continued, they had to go up and over a traffic island to get around the fallen pole. This submitter was driving along when he was passed by multiple drivers, evidently racing one another. Suddenly, a third vehicle went flying past him before spinning out of control. Somehow, the driver of the Dodge Charger managed to avoid hitting anything and end up pointing the right way down an exit ramp in spite of their lack of driving skills. Our submitter wanted to shout out his friend Sal, who introduced him to Wham Bam Dash Cam. What a legend! George watched one car rear-end another. When traffic began backing up in an intersection, a driver on his phone failed to notice in time and ran into the back of another car. George doesn't know what happened next, but he did say neither driver appeared to be injured. Rampton was driving his Polestar when he witnessed this week's Tesla behaving badly. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla man can't drive. The driver of a black Model 3 used a straight only lane to get into an intersection before turning right instead. Does anybody need to know why what they did was totally illegal? No? Okay, we'll move on. This submitter has a four-way dash cam installed in his Toyota Camry. It was parked at a gas station when it captured a three-vehicle collision happen in a nearby intersection. A van driver ran a red light before colliding with two other vehicles. Our submitter told us first responders took 30 minutes to arrive. He wanted to shout out his brother. He owns a Model 3 and they watch Wham Bam Tesla Cam and Wham Bam Dash Cam together. Don't forget Wham Bam Security Cam, guys. Michael was driving at about 40 miles per hour in fairly heavy rain when the driver of a Honda Accord pulled out in front of him. Michael honked and swerved to avoid a collision. Thankfully, no contact occurred and he was able to go on with his day, laughing at clouds so dark up above. This submitter was on a trip with a friend. While his Toyota Supra was parked with a cop sitting nearby, the driver of a red Mazda turned too sharply and clipped to the front of his car. Thankfully, the Mazda driver stopped and admitted fault in the collision. Our submitter's front bumper cover was severely damaged and had to be taped, glued, and zip-tied back into place before the car could be driven home. Our submitter wanted to shout out his friend Vonch for helping him get home that day and for being part of a memory he'll cherish for the rest of his life. Mike was headed home after picking up his four-year-old from preschool when the driver of a silver Acura SUV pulled out in front of him while he was going around 50 miles per hour. Mm. 
Thankfully, the Acura driver heard the horn of Mike's Ram 1500 Rebel and hopped the curb onto the sidewalk to avoid a collision. He then took some time to contemplate his actions while Mike explained to his son what had happened. Mike told us he's a fan of all our channels and a big dash cam advocate, and they have front and rear dash cams in all their family's vehicles. Hopefully he has security cams and can send us some footage from them too. Nancy was headed home after her daughter's medical appointment when she watched a four-vehicle collision happen on the highway ahead of her. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Yes. 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 Nancy had only bought her dash cam two weeks before this happened. In an earlier incident, police had asked her if she had dash cam footage, then suggested she buy one when she told them she didn't. She wanted to shout out her husband Eric and daughters JK and KC. Mayer was driving his GMC Acadia when a taxi pulled out in front of him. Mayer honked and swerved while slamming on the brakes. After the taxi driver had gotten out of the way, he continued to his destination. Alex was on his way to lunch when the driver of a red SUV suddenly turned into him without warning. Alex told us the other driver claimed she hadn't seen his Mazda 3 in her blind spot, which is why you should always check your blind spot over your shoulder before changing lanes. Thankfully, his car was able to be repaired. Michelle's Cadillac's dash cam was keeping a watchful eye while she was shopping, and it caught a Tesla driver in cahoots with the car demon. Perish the thought! Even though the cart demon took control once the Tesla driver had left, it was eventually thwarted by another shopper, although the video file ended before she grabbed it. Ironically, Michelle discovered this footage while looking for something else. She wanted to thank her husband Craig for getting her a dash cam. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man! Please support the show!